So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, Elisa's SR-18. I got a rock beat and I'm going to MIDI that in. I got the MIDI out going to a uh, splitter and then it hits my Akai, my boss drum machine then I have it going to a synthesizer so I'm gonna go ahead and start it off now I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up a little bit closer, all right, to show y'all what I'm doing, all right? Oh, here we go. It's on the uh, the B side. <clears throat> I only got like eight bars to uh, switch over to the other song. And so here we go. Alright, now I'm just going to mute this little drum piece out just for a little bit. Y'all hear me play a little rock, right? I've always dig some rock, man. Going back to the old school, you know what I mean? So I always like to try to put together something to kind of like mimic that stuff I grew up off of you know what I'm saying so that's what it's all about y'all just trying to mix some music together and uh, once again man I had it in MIDI with, uh, with my Dr. Ball's drum machine and then I had to run the MIDI the MIDI uh, through through so what he did was the signal passed through the Elisa's SR18 first then it went out to the Akai drum machine for the extra layer of drums then I had it in MIDI with the Dr. Boss 5 drum machine which kind of like played the melody and stuff like that and then I also sent the bass line out of the, um, the Elisa's SR-18 so that it'll play one bass line but then it can play another bass line on another machine. And what I did was I cut out some of the extra drums on the other drum machine and just let the melody play. That was it. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, y'all. I'm out, man. Y'all be cool all the way around the world. And once again, thanks for coming by and checking me out, man. Keep learning that music, right? Later. <laughs>